Next we have the drama. It's called The Three Modes of Nature from the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 14. The three modes of nature, goodness, passion, and ignorance. And we perform this drama in Spanish all over Mexico. So tonight is their first attempt in English. So please bear with us. Hopefully you'll have a great time, just as the actors will, presenting this drama for you in English tonight. In the Bhagavad Gita, thank you, which is like the Bible in India, Lord Krishna tells us that this body is not actually who we are. He says our real and permanent identity is pure, uncontaminated spirit, and that by coming in contact with material nature, we become conditioned in three basic ways. These ways or mode of nature are goodness, passion, and ignorance. And passion, we go get ignorance, wake them up. Now, as we will see, under the influence of these three modes, the soul is either satisfied, active, or helpless. Namaste. I am the mode of goodness. It is under my influence that the soul becomes conditioned to a sense of well-being and happiness. So you may become a poet, a philosopher, a teacher, or a monk. One's living habits will become very clean and simple. And one may be inclined to work, but working for the welfare of all others. Beware, however, that I may trap you into a sense of comfort and complacency. And thus, this will ruin your chances for spiritual liberation. Namaste. Passion. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Passion. Vote for me. No, just kidding. Everybody knows me. I'm famous. I'm the standard for modern civilization. With me by your side, you work hard like an ass for a bigger car, bigger house. You need a pool, fool. Your bank account's too low, Joe. Don't be a slow. Get ahead, get ahead. It's a rat race. Dog eat dog, you snooze, you lose. Oh, gotta go. Can't stay. Time is money. Let's do lunch sometimes. And ignorance. Hey. Uh, I'm ignorance. Anybody got a chair? I, I'm, a, chair? I'm the narrator. I've been standing here the whole time, man. Gonna make me stand there? Ah, ignorance is bliss. Now let me tell you, you know, what I think about life. It's okay to think about all the good things in life. Don't bother actually doing anything you don't have to. You make yourself really uh, tired. And when you don't get what you want, you get frustrated. The government takes away everything you make anyway. <coughs> and your wife, you can't ever satisfy her. You work harder and harder and harder. And still, she leaves you and takes away your kids and makes you all miserable. <laughs> And all you can think about is ending your miserable life. Uh, I need a pick-me-up. Now? You want to drink now in front of all these people? I'm going to do it, man. Whoa, whoa, I'm going to do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm on whoa, the edge. Whoa, whoa. Right here, right here, man. Take it easy. Easy, my brother. Uh, easy, easy. Man. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Ah, that hits the spot. What was I talking about? Ah, could have been very important, eh? Oh, I think I better have another one. I'm starting to think. I'm starting to get stressed out, man. Uh, uh, under my influence, the soul deludes himself. He sleeps, he dreams. All right. Thank you, Modes. Thank you, Ignorance. Ignorance. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now, Mo, just come over here for a minute. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon a soul. And I want you to influence him in your particular mode. He's He's completely ignorant, all right? Unsuspected. So you shouldn't have any trouble influencing him. All right? Any questions? All right. So, go. so now I'll go and get ready. So now I'm going to summon a spirit soul. Spirit soul, I summon you here to appear in this material world which will be your playground. Now what does he want? He wants to be free. He wants to enjoy, exploit the material world. But he is unaware that he will be controlled at every step by these three modes of nature. And Lord Krishna explains in the Bhagavad Gita that sometimes the mode of goodness becomes prominent, defeating the mode of passion. And sometimes passion defeats the mode of goodness. And at other times, the mode of ignorance defeats goodness and passion. In this way, there is always competition for supremacy. Then Krishna describes the mode of goodness. The mode of goodness being purer than the others is illuminating and it frees one from all sinful reactions. Those, situation, those situated in the mode develop knowledge, but they become conditioned by the concept of a happiness. Namaste, spirit soul. Come with me for a walk in the beautiful countryside. The air is clean here and we can be free from the agitating elements of the city. Take a seat, spirit soul. Let me pour you some fresh spring water. Thank you, goodness. Isn't it lovely here? It's so peaceful. I think I could stay here forever. Look at how blue the sky is. Here, spirit soul, have some of this fresh, sweet, green, organic apple. Mmm, delicious. Isn't nature wonderful, goodness? The rolling hills, the birds singing songs. I feel that we are meant to live in harmony with nature and enjoy her bounty. I feel such happiness just being here with you. I feel that I'm meant to be happy and enjoy God's beautiful creation. Next, Krishna talks about passion. When there, is, when, when there is an increase in the mode of passion, the soul develops the symptoms of great attachment, uncontrollable desire, and intense endeavor. What are you doing, man? Getting a tan? Money is honey, sonny. I suppose you forgot about Susie. You said you were going to take her to Vegas. That's right. Lose your money. Vegas. But do you think she's going to want to live under a tree? Her old man owns half the west side. Let's go make them bucks, Chuck. A bigger house, a bigger car. You'll go far, you're a star. A great game, a private plane. No pain, no gain. You'll be rich, you'll reach the top. There's just one hitch you can't stop. <laughs> and there's always gonna be someone trying to take it all away from you. So you're just gonna have to be better than them. 
And then next, Krishna explains ignorance. When, there, when there is an increase in the mode of ignorance, the soul displays madness, illusion, inertia, and darkness. Don't listen to passion. You need to relax, man. You need to sit down and relax. Dude, there's too much hard work in this world, man. Here, I have just the right thing for you. like you could go far in this world, but you work too hard, man. You're too responsible, too conscientious. How can you, how can you live with all that stress, dude? That's just too much. Here, here, have another one, man. Yeah. Give me that. So, think about the future when you're in the Bahamas, on a short vacation, surrounded by beautiful women. Oh yeah, they're gonna love you, baby. Yeah, if you work hard in 20 years, you'll get a house, or a ranch in Kentucky, a pet house in Manhattan, and you'll be on the grill, or on the balcony, grilling a steak 30 floors high up in the sky. Driving for an hour, time is money and money is power. You gotta send your son to college in Boston. And your wife, she's gotta wear the latest from Boston. You wanna quit? You can't even retire. All you can do is acquire, acquire, acquire! Get off your feet, spirit soul. Get off! Here, gotta try some of this. <laughs> Here. Yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> Feels good? Uh -huh. Alright, 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 give me back, man. Come on, man! Give me back! Oh, uh, you, you need to get off for a couple of weeks, man. You need a veg out. Yeah, right. Veg out. Play some video games. No, just relax. You know what? Me and you, stack up that refrigerator with some six packs. We'll shut out the curtains. We'll shut out the world, man. How you like that? Sounds good? Yeah. Here, have another one. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's good. Spirit soul, what are you doing? Intoxication is very bad for you. And you? When was the last time you took a bath? Uh, what day is it? Spirit soul, come with me. Intoxication muddles the mind. It is not good for the body or the senses. But he said that intoxication is just another one of nature's gifts. Yes, it is. No. Actually, it's the misuse of nature's gifts. All plants, minerals, and so on 
do have some use. The human life is meant for a higher purpose, for learning. Intoxication muddles the mind and weakens the body and senses. Maybe you're right, goodness. And you really should stop eating animals, too. There are plenty of fruits and vegetables around. Stop eating meat? Why? To live in harmony with nature, one needs to purify one's heart. But the cruelties of animal slaughter harden the heart more and more. I guess you're right. Goodness, just being with here with you makes me want to live a healthier lifestyle. I just want to advance myself in knowledge. Yes, spirit soul. Actually, only with me can you really gain knowledge to see things as they are. You will never get any enlightenment by associating with these low fellows' passion and ignorance. This book, the Bhagavad Gita, has a lot to say about awakening your intelligence so you can distinguish between food, worship, and activities in three modes. You should study it very carefully so that you can avoid the tricks of ignorance and passion. Thank you, goodness. Let me see, what does it say here? One in the mode of ignorance wants to act whimsically for no purpose. Even though he has the capacity to work, he makes no endeavor. Hmm, that sounds like me sometimes. One in the mode of passion always wants to el is never satisfied with his current position, but seeks to elevate it. He develops a great hankering for mundane sense enjoyment. I know that feeling, so that's the mode of passion. A person in the mode of goodness is satisfied with his work or intellectual pursuit. In the mode of goodness, one can see things as they are. Hmm. You see, spirit soul? You can live a very happy life by my influence. You can work to save the environment, you can become a vegetarian, and you can get into art, poetry, and fine music. Now, spirit soul, don't be influenced by the stupid mode. Let's yeah. concentrate on holistic living and try to make your life here as pure and pleasant as possible. But wait, it, it says here that if I'm to be serious, I have to transcend all three modes. Because one does not need to accept the dictations of the material body. Wow, I, I'm not this body. By performing transcendental devotional service to Krishna, or God, one destroys the reaction of his past karma and does not create new reactions. Thus, he is not bound to the material world, but travels on to the spiritual world. Benujiva. <laughs> Thank you, goodness. By your influence, I was able to give up the abominable habits forced upon me by ignorance and passion, and to see things clearly instead. Now I, I know I'm not this body, and that I have to transcend all three modes, and that I belong in the spiritual world. But how do I get there? What do I do now? Maybe this will tell me. One can very quickly transcend the three modes of nature by chanting the Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you very much. A um, couple of the lines were in Spanish there. It was uh, quite a challenge for them just in the past day to memorize all of their lines in English after doing the play in Spanish for two and a half weeks traveling all around Mexico.